Welcome back to The Kiosk Presents. This morning I'm speaking with Farnoosh Tarabi. She's a personal financial expert, best-selling author, and TV personality here to talk about financial resolutions in the new year. Farnoosh, welcome to The Kiosk Presents. Thanks, Lori. I'm great, uh, great to be here. So what are some of the popular financial resolutions that people tend to make? The top three, I would say, getting out of debt, saving more money, earning more money. And with any other resolution, people tend to give them up. Why do consumers tend to give up their financial resolutions? That seems like an important resolution to try to keep. Of course it's important, but I think just like when we you know, protest that we're going to save money or lose weight or quit smoking, you know, it's complex. You need good habits in place. And at the beginning of the year, life can be a little bit overwhelming. You've just come back from the holidays. You're With finances, you might be in a, even more of a hole because of the spending you've done. Uh, so it's important now before things get out of hand, potentially with the holidays, that you think about what are my resolutions and how am I going to execute so that when January 1st strikes, I can just, you know, get on that resolution train and get me there to the end of the year with, with results. So we do have a little bit of time before New Year's, so what are some ways that people can stay on track with their financial resolutions? So a few really easy steps. One is, is actually my favorite tip, is to kind of think visually about your resolution. It's not enough to just say, Lori, you know, I want to save money. Well, that's a good start, but why? What is the ultimate goal of, of doing that, of that resolution? Is it because you want to save money to afford a new car, a new house, college, grad school, a new business, a renovation in your home? You know, these are the exciting projects and milestones in our lives that carry price tags, which then give our resolutions meaning. So really thinking about that, I think, will give you the psychological boost that you need to get off the couch and start your resolution. Two, automate your finances because it's stressful to pay that bill with a paper and pen every month and a stamp. You know, it's just that on ongoing reminder that we just, you know, don't need. And so automate your payments, get rid of the stress, and you can do that starting now. Third, I want you to share your goals with your family. You're going to be spending a lot of time with family over the holidays, so opportune time to express to them that you want to save money, you want to get out of debt. Studies show that when you share your financial goals, you're more likely to achieve them. It keeps you accountable. And finally, for those of us who are buried in debt or those of us who just are looking for a new credit card to kind of get us you know, on the right foot, that's going to promote good behavior. There are cards out there that can serve that purpose. And one such card is the Bank AmeriCard Better Balance Rewards card. And what this does is it's a rewards card, but not to be confused with rewards cards that give you points or cash back for spending. This card gives you $25 a quarter when you pay more than the minimum every month and on time. So it's ultimately rewarding you for good financial management, good debt management. And that's what you need in the new year to keep your resolutions intact. You need all these support systems, these behaviors in place so that your life can be easy and the resolutions can be that much easy. That, that's really different, paying, you know, giving you rewards for paying on time and paying your bill. That's a lot different than most cards. They usually give you money or give you rewards for paying or for buying. Right. There's a card for everybody, but if you're looking to specifically get out of debt faster, mm -hmm. this is the card to help you accomplish that goal. So speaking of credit cards, what are some of the common money mistakes that people make with credit cards? Oh, there's so many, but I would say the mm. top ones are just paying that minimum because you mm -hmm. think, you know, you're doing the right thing, you're making that payment, and it's the minimum, so all is good, but the fact is you're going to be in debt for a lot longer than you would if you were paying even just a little bit more every month, a lot more interest. Uh, right now with the holidays, the tendency is to shop, and with that comes retailers encouraging you to open up their store cards. And these cards, while they're very attractive with their introductory offers, they're not the kind of cards you need, frankly, in your portfolio of credit cards to manage your debt wisely or to boost your credit score. These cards have high interest rates, low mm -hmm. limits, and when you open up several of them over the holidays, you're going to lower your credit score. That's not a favorable thing on your credit score. So um, those would be the two, top two things, and they're very timely right now with the holidays. What are some other strategies you have to help pe for people to help pay down their debt? So, you know, as I said, get the help that you need. It's really hard to do this alone, especially if you've got a lot of debt and you feel like you don't know where to start. So there's a number of resources out there that are free, that are certified. For example, the National Foundation for Credit Counselors. 
Money Management International. These are free nonprofit resources that can help you get a budget, evaluate spending, be your advocates when it comes to negotiating with your creditors. And for some people, that is going to be their ticket to debt freedom. Um, for others, it might be like I said, sharing it with others, creating a community, um, you know, sort of organically to help them get out of debt. Online, too, there are some resources like readyforzero.com. It's a site, it's free again, that'll help you come up with a plan. And on top of that, give you this community online of other people who are trying to get out of debt so you can bounce ideas off of one another and motivate each other. And so, again, don't try to achieve your resolutions alone, in isolation. It's not going to work. Well, that was a, a lot of really great advice. Where can our viewers go to get some more of your uh, financial advice, Farnoosh? Check out my blog, shameless plug, farnoosh.tv. <laughs> and for more information on that fantastic credit card, check out bankofamerica.com slash credit cards. Fantastic. Farnoosh Tarabi, thank you so much for joining us here on The Kiosk Presents in Buffalo and Western New York. All right. Thanks, Lori.